Rooftop solar doesn't work for all customers, and conventional ground mount and carport solar structures don't fit all sites and project objectives. This is where elevated dual axis solar trackers can come into play. Here to make the pitch for elevated dual axis solar tracking technology, and the added value it can provide is Jeff Sharp, founder and COO of Stracker Solar. Hey Jeff, thanks for taking the time. And before we get really into it today, uh, give me that 30 second overview of Stracker Solar. Well, Stracker Solar is an OEM, that's original equipment manufacturer. We serve primarily the non-residential market sector. We serve commercial, industrial, community solar segments. We've been manufacturing, selling, and installing these elevated dual axis PV solar trackers, like behind me here, since 2017. Strekkers are robust, elegant, pole-mounted units that document an impressive 70% greater energy production per year than the same array would in a fixed flat rooftop install. And they do that from 20 foot up in the air, leaving the ground below open and fully usable. So commonly when we think of trackers, we're thinking of single axis trackers that we see in those long rows out in the field that incrementally tilt and follow the sun. They require a lot of green space. Elevated dual axis trackers are totally different, right? They're pole mounted structures. I guess let's start with the structure. How much can it actually support in terms of weight in kilowatts? Well, the first part of your question, trackers have at least three value adds over the typical single axis system. First, our pole mounting lets us install in hilly or rocky terrains that might not be level enough for those conventional single axis rows. Second, their 20 foot high control and actuator platform keeps all the mechanical and electrical systems well out of reach. So there's no need for fencing. And last but not least, their minimum 14 foot ground clearance allows continued use of the ground below for activities that range from farming with tractors and combines to industrial operations, to schoolyards, uh, to parking lots where there's room for semis and buses and fire trucks to pass below. And that's because of their 15 foot minimum ground clearance. Striker foundations typically consist of a simple 30 inch diameter pier foundation, heavily reinforced. Uh, the pole bolts to this foundation so it can be relocated if needed. And strikers are built of American made steel. They disassemble for an easy shipping so we can get as many as 10 on a truck. And our current Model S1B has an array of 28 450 watt bifacial modules. So they have a DC and an AC power rating of 12.6 kilowatt. And we're seeing that the bifacial gain is about 7% on top of that. I want to now move to the tracking part of the dual axis tracker. Uh, sure. First. Yeah, so first in terms of engineering, you know, I guess, what is the hardware and how does that mechanism work? Yeah, well, the Model S1 utilizes an all electric control and slew drive actuator system and that keeps the PV array pointed directly at the sun all day, every day of the year. The heart of this tracking system is our proprietary drive core and that includes slew drive actuators, electric motors, and a advanced control system. The drive core mounts right on top of the pole top with a compact steel assembly and a structural bolting system. The control system incorporates a sophisticated proprietary GPS-based algorithm. We don't use any hydraulics, no linear actuators, just exceptionally high strength actuators and electric motors. And I guess I'll say here that the our strackers carry the coveted UL3703 listing and are load tested for wind ratings of 120 mile an hour. So taking all that into account, you know, I assume that dual axis trackers pole mounted like this, that means you're totally unconcerned about like site constraints. Being relieved of site constraints is one of our value propositions, but really the power of dual axis tracking is the ability to keep that array pointed directly at the sun. Um, this is what gives trackers their exceptional production efficiency. In this industry that highlights 1% efficiency increases, trackers 70% we think is truly a game changer. And their elevation keeps the arrays above typical dust flurries, as well as the shade of nearby trees and buildings. And it provides a wider background for bifacial gain as well. Looking at single axis trackers, you know, you hear horror stories, you know, in terms of bearing failure uh, and issues in wind events. So my layperson assumption would be that you'd have maybe more challenges in terms of wind uplift, or maybe something inherent in that one structural failure point. Can you compare the reliability challenges that dual axis trackers face versus single axis? 
dual axis trackers, it's only in recent years that we have the engineering and the construction tolerances and the control systems to really have a confidence of putting these up 20 foot in the air. I'll say that Stracker's patent pinting drive core we just talked about, that is the structural pivot for our dual axis tracking. We don't have any exterior bearings or slide points. The entire array art articulates via those two industrial strength slew drive actuators. They have hourglass worm drives and a large slew ring bearing system that are completely enclosed. And they only require that we do a basic zert lubrication once a year. The systems are fully engineered. They're certified, like I said, to 120 mile hour winds, and we've never had an actuator failure despite years of operation across a wide variety of climates and terrains. All steel, electrically driven drive core system, highest strength materials, tightest construction call tolerances, cutting edge control technologies. They all are producing the strongest and most robust tracking platform available. This is to assure you won't ever hear those negative stories about striker reliability. Very good. But, you know, then then again, you're not really competing for projects against single axis trackers. You know, I was using that as like a point of comparison because that's the, I guess, maybe more well known. So what segments are you after? Yeah, you're correct. The, the dual axis trackers are the utilities market sector primarily. We're not after that. We're providing DG systems for the commercial and community solar markets. And we're targeting the 200 kilowatt to two megawatt project range. Our goal is to provide a novel solar approach for the EPCs to be more competitive and win more projects. We hope that by adding our pole mounted strackers to their portfolios, EPCs can secure projects where sites might otherwise have restrictions that make the traditional offerings not suitable. Uh, we're working to open a wider variety of sites for businesses, communities, and tribes, adding the power of dual access tracking so they can maximize the energy produced from each and every PV module. So I guess if we could dig in on that just uh, a little bit here, can you give me an apples to apples example of maybe how a dual access solar tracker designed for a site compares to a rooftop or carport proposal? Like say it's a car dealership looking to add 200 kilowatts. For comparison power production, let's look at a 200 kilowatt striker installation versus a typical 200 kilowatt carport installation. And we've been testing and have data here at about our 40 degree latitude, about the latitude of Chicago and Ashland, Oregon, where we are. Using the exact same modules, exact same inverters, the 200 KW Stracker installation, which by the way is 16 Stracker units, produces 480 megawatt hours per year. Okay, if we take a carport system that we assume a five degree south facing tilt, that system will produce 280 megawatt hours per year. So from that, we see that the Stracker system produces a full 70% greater energy production each year. Now, to be fair, if you increase that tilt of that carport from five degrees to 15 degrees, somewhere between 15 and 45 degrees, then our, our energy harvest is only 50% greater than the carport. But oftentimes we'll see east-west facing carports at 10 degrees, and that's gonna be equivalent to that five degree south. Strikers will also show about a 65% lower greenhouse gas footprint per kilowatt hour produced. And that's because the power coming from the, the PV modules is increased and each PV module accounts for more than 90% of the typical PV systems embedded carbon. So on the construction side, how do you get those panels up there? How is it actually like kind of put together with considering the height of the system? That we have a, a, it's, it's a steel rack that sits on the ground that holds the main frame. We, Put the panels on top, we bolt them down from the ground. The PV installer comes underneath, does, hooks up all the wiring. Uh, we check our control systems, we commission it right there on the ground. Now it's completely assembled, the array in the frame. We bring a crane in, we have a hook that fits in the middle. It lifts, lifts it up and we bolt it with eight three quarter inch bolts to the top of the pole. So last question here. Um, how do I get into the Stracker installation business? You know, what is there? So is this something I train a crew to do? Uh, you know, and I guess where do I go for more info? We're looking for established DPC and business partners for projects across the U.S., starting west and 
heading east. Um, I'd add that we're committed to providing a level of economic development to the communities that install striker installations by using their local fabrication facilities, local EPCs to build and install and maintain that community's own DG power installations. Uh, we provide on-site training, installation support, as well as co-marketing support in sales leads. So we'd uh, encourage EPCs to contact us. And there's more information available at www.strackersolar.com. Well, hey, Jeff, uh, that's a great overview. Uh, very interesting. And I'm you know, just excited to see where Stracker goes next. So thanks for taking the time and making the pitch today. Thanks, Chris. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.